and this is the stake overflow issue number six and what is about what this is about is creating a shadow inside the card okay so uh, can we just make it with the card widget actually no because there is no such thing in a uh, card attributes as a inner shadow so first we have to look for it there is a shadow color property on our card but this is this will give it a color on the outside of that card not inside the card so we're gonna use the container here let's do it uh, we need to give height and width to the container Alright, you can see the elevation here of our card. Now, what do we need to do to give inner shadow in our card? We have to use the decoration here. Uh, box. Okay, let me tell you the two, two things here. Uh, what you need to do here is you have to give two box shadow colors okay okay the first color uh, is going to be the shadow color and the second color is going to be the background color of that card alright so let's just do it mm, color, okay. I want the background I want my shadow color to be color dark I prefer to have a blue shadow color okay remember that in the second value you have to write the background color of the card you have so we just making this effect with the help of box shadow I want a white color I want I don't want to Okay, will it work? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's working fine. Okay, uh, you have to remember one thing that uh, in order to make the inner shadow uh, in our card, you need to have minus value in the spirit radius. All right. So I'm gonna have minus five for that. If you want a deeper shadow, if you want, this, if you just want to have a light shadow, you can have one. Okay. Uh, you can change this color if suppose we have a big red background on our card we can use the red got this okay this is how we can create the inner shadow in our card and bingo bye bye